back now with a music legend, super producer Clive Davis. And he's got a new documentary out called Clive Davis, The Soundtrack of Our Lives, which debuted number one on iTunes. Congratulations to that and welcome oh, to Mr. Thank Davis. You. Thank you very much. How you doing? You know, we, we're gonna, you've worked with so many music legends. I mean, the list goes on and on. But you signed Janis Joplin back in 1967 when you saw her at the Monterey Pop Festival. What made you sign her? What was the first thought that went to your mind? First of all, I was there to enjoy my first festival. I had just become head of Columbia Records. I didn't know what awaited me. And then in the afternoon, Big Brother and the Holding Company with this riveting you know, hypnotic Janis Joplin came on stage. And if the word epiphany means anything, it defines what happened to me. I had never signed an artist before, and I knew it was going to be a revolution, and I signed Janis and Big Brother. And then you went on from there to sign another artist we may have heard about, Whitney Houston. I did. <laughs> and, and, and the amazing thing about it that you signed Whitney, and then two years later, you put her on national TV on the Merv Griffin show. I put her on Merv Griffin two weeks later, after I signed her, before we recorded anything. Here she was, just turning 19, and she was stunning beauty, stunning vocalist, and I brought her on national television. I introduced her for the next generation. If there will be a Lena Horne, a new Dionne Warwick, it would be Whitney. And you were called the man with the golden ear. Where do you think that ear comes from? Where did you develop You know, that? it turned out to be a nat natural gift. I never would have known I had it if I was not thrust uh, into the record business, became president um, with no previous experience. So it was after signing Joplin and Santana, Blood, Sweat, Chicago, Earth, Wind and Fire, oh. that I learned to trust that I'm had a natural gift that I never knew I would have had. And now you work with some modern divas. Let's call them that. Alicia Keys, Jennifer Hudson. And what is it like? Yeah, we, we can sit here all day. What is it like to work with them as opposed to maybe working with a Whitney or Janis Joplin? Well, you're talking about great all-time singers. Um, I signed Alicia when she also was 18 years old. I'm, you know, a self-contained genius writer, stunning vocalist, and um, you know, we have had an incredible relationship with Jennifer. I didn't sign her right away. I could sign any American Idol contestant, but it was her screen test for mm -hmm. Dreamgirls, where she was brilliant as an actress, and to this day, she has that voice, you know, up there with the history of Aretha and Whitney. She had that voice, you have that ear, and we luck we're lucky you do because you brought us so many great artists. And it is Clive Davis, the soundtrack of our lives. Available now on iTunes. We'll be right back. And thank you so much for being here. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.